two minute tip is going to show you how you can use the workspace runner to pass data between workspaces. I've set up this workspace to receive some names from a workspace one. In order to receive data, you can use parameters. So I've got one here, which is set up called names, um, which is going to bring in text data. You can set up a prompt so people will know what sort of values to be typing in. And if you want, you can set a default value. I've then put a creator sending it to the inspector with some attributes that I've created, which is taking the value from the name parameter so that when we run the workspace, that will open the inspector and you'll be able to see that the data has passed from workspace one into workspace two. So inside the workspace runner, which is in our first workspace, you can see that you choose the workspace you want to send data to, which is the workspace two. I've set it to run five concurrent workspaces, so every name will get processed at once. And I'm sending through the name attribute from my CSV into the parameter value set up in workspace two. If you edit your parameters in one workspace, so I'll just add one for numbers, and then save your workspace, you'll find that the workspace runner transformer updates to reflect that. So if I OK that one and save, if we go back to the workspace runner, you'll see that that number parameter has come through and I could put a value in here. When I run this workspace, now each of those names reading in from the CSV file gets sent to the workspace runner which in workspace two, the creator is creating attributes and sending those to the inspector, which we can see here. So for every workspace that ran, we've got a view in our inspector and you can see at the bottom, the name is changing.